Uh, today we're just doing a short film on how to assemble a Nuffield front wheel hub. So in today's task I'm going to re be replacing one of the bearings and the hub seal. Now this is the procedure for Nuffield Universal 3, Universal 4, 3, 42, 460, uh, 1042 or 1060 fitted with a 5 stud hub. Uh, the six stub hubs on the Nuffields are slightly different. They have uh, a large and a small bearing, whereas on the earlier tractors they have two bearings that are the same size. And so we're going to start by, uh, firstly, I showing you what's happened with one of the wheel bearings. If we take a close look here, we'll see that it's had water damage. You can see, clearly see the pits in the rollers and the race. This will eventually uh, fail and obviously cause you problems. So I'm going to replace that uh, wheel bearing with a new one here. The other wheel bearing, in all fairness, I've cleaned and checked and is perfectly serviceable. So uh, we'll reuse that. Obviously, I've got the new seal and the cotter. So the first thing I'm going to do is fit the bearing. So obviously, the bearings go uh, obviously with the inner race to the outside. So what we'll do, we'll put the to race in. I do have a mandrel for pressing it in um, but you can use uh, if you're careful it is possible to get away with using the old outer bearing race if you do this I advise you wear your safety specs when you're doing it because the race is kind of shatter so what we're going to do we're going to push this in now Obviously, if you've got a press, that's great. If you haven't, obviously, you can just use the little mandrels like I've got. Right, so that's just about home. Yes, that is home. So you can see I've driven the bearing race home. So next, we'll drop the inner race in. I'll give it a little bit of oil. Next goes in this uh, tin spacer ring. Uh, this is like a backing ring for the seal. You should be able to reuse really this every time. Uh, there should be no need for for that to be replaced. Finally is the oil seal. Now the oil seal goes with the spring to the outside in this fashion. Now what I use is a little blob of grease around the outside just to age fitting. Put it in the top and it'll virtually press in. Once again I've got my flat iron disc here. That's done. Um, so next, we'll just pop the bearing in the other side, wipe any residual grease off there, I'll just give it a double check. Obviously we've cleaned this uh, hub prior to this assembly, we've got rid of all the old grease out of it before we started. So once again, we're going to drive the outer race in first. It's important to wear safety glasses. I'll reiterate that it is important you wear safety glasses when doing these because bearing races can shatter. So, once again, a little bit of oil. Right, so that is now basically all done. So, the next part of this will be to get the kingpin, which I've already cleaned. Obviously, with the kingpin, the key things is to make sure the thread that holds the nut on is not damaged or the nut's not to run loose and worn the thread away. So obviously, if the nut comes off, you'll have your front wheel missing off your tractor. So, next in the procedure is we, there's a tin plate. The tin plate has a locating peg. There's a locating stud on the kingpin. 
that now goes on. Followed by this spacer piece. Now this spacer piece, uh, you'll need to run a little bit of uh, grease on. The seal actually runs on this. So make sure the surface where the seal runs is on this. There is a little bit of wear, but the seal, the, the face is actually nice and smooth, so the seal won't uh, get damaged. So once again, it's the chamfer to the back, the notch to the bottom. There we go. Just slides into place. It's just as easy to take the inner race out when you put the wheel on, or bond should I say. Now, I'm going to smear a little bit of grease once again on the inside lip of that seal. We don't want that to get damaged. Then we carefully right it all up. You may have to give it a little bit of persuasion. Put the inner bearing in, slides on nicely. Now, the next item to go on is the heavy washer. Now, the heavy washer has a notch, the notch goes to the bottom. So, finally, we'll give the nut. We'll give the thread a tiny bit of grease. Now what we do obviously with the nut is you spin it on. You'll he hear people about preloading bearings and all the rest of it. The simple thing is with the wheel bearings you will tighten it up using a spanner or a socket. Tight, make sure everything's gone home. And then back it off and take it up finger tight. So. We tighten it, it's an inch and a half socket, AF. Now it's tight, and I've backed it off. And what I'm going to do now is just, I'm just taking it up by hand, and I'm basically going to find the uh, hole for the cotter by either turning it one way or the other. And this way, I've just turned it a little bit more. It's still by hand with the socket. As you can see, the hook runs lovely and free. The final task will be to fit the cotter pin like this. Now the correct way to fit the cotter pin is to bend one over the front and then one will get bent backwards. In this case I'm going to have to trim it off. So we trim the cotter off about there. that to be fair I should probably just trim the front off just so it looks nice and neat and basically there you have it the last thing to go on will be the hub cap um, and that is it that's how you assemble the front hub on an off-wheel tractor <laughs>